on this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly, Boys Swim and Dive, Girls Bowling, and a Wildcat You Should Know. All this and more coming up next. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Roziki Covington. There's a wildcat among us who started her own non-for-profit organization. Anuva Shandalia is a wildcat you should know. Anuva Shandalia is a varsity lacrosse player and runs track for Niqua Valley. But she's also the CEO of her own non-for-profit. My charity is called Chance for Sports, and we are a 501c3, which means we're recognized by the IRS and the state of Illinois. Um, basically, what Chance for Sports does is we donate gently used sports equipment to underprivileged children. Um, thus far, we have collected about 2,500 pieces of equipment. Every great thing starts as a small, simple idea. Chance for Sports has grown immensely since 2015. So I started Chance for Sports September of my freshman year. So it's been about two and a half years, um, and it's really grown since then. I started with just me and my brother going around with like a granny cart around the neighborhood collecting about 150 pieces of equipment that first summer, and now we've got about 20 to 30 volunteers. Anuva has big plans for the future. If you're interested in possibly contributing, there are a few ways that you can help. Um, right now we're coordinating with the athletic directors of District 204 high schools to try and organize an equipment drive or you know how the school has a lot of equipment, maybe if there's stuff they can donate. Um, if people want to donate, they can contact me at chanceforsports at gmail.com, um, at my website www.chanceforsports.org, or I have an Instagram and Facebook which is um, at chanceforsports. If you have any more questions, you may ask Anuva or any of her other team members in the hallway. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Hank Pelton. The boys swim and dive team is midway through their season. Chris looks into how their season is going so far. Midway through the season, the boys swim and dive team is right on schedule with where they want to be. Um, I'd say the season's going off pretty well. We have a really deep team this year with like, thanks to like a lot of new freshmen and a lot of depth in our senior area and our junior area and our sophomores. So it's making us be dominating in almost every dual meet. So, so far the team's off to a great start. The guys are working hard. It's the largest team we've had in Nico Valley Boys Swim and Dive history. So that's exciting. We had a lot of people come out for the team this year and um, they're doing a great job. While having a lot of seniors, there are no designated captains, but each senior does their part to positively influence the team. I think our main responsibility as a senior is just to kind of show the team how things are supposed to be done, kind of lead the team through example more than vocally telling them what to do. And I think throughout the season our seniors have been doing a really good job doing that. We've been working hard in practice, pushing people to achieve their full potential, and I think that's really all we can ask for. Heading into the second half of the season, the team has high hopes going forward. The outlook for the end of the season, we have our DVC conference meet, which is always a really good competition uh, between Waubonsa Valley, Naperville North, Naperville Central, Matia Valley. All those teams are very strong at swimming. So, you know, we feel like we have a shot to win conference. We'd be excited to do that. Uh, sectionals this year is at Matia Valley, and, you know, we have one of the stronger teams in the state when it comes to depth-wise. And we're hoping to have a, you know, a really good finish at the state level. We're hoping to be one of the top ten teams in the state of Illinois. Hopefully, I want our team to be good at everything. Good luck to the boys on the rest of their season. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Chris Bogaiski. The Negro Girls bowling team has been striking it this year. Abdul and Cameron roll into the story. Since the girls bowling season started, both players and coaches are proud of how far they've come. I feel really good about the bowling season so far. We've had a lot of success. We're undefeated in match play and we won one tournament and got third place in another. So it looks to be a really good season. I am very proud of our bowling season so far. We have won tournaments I didn't think that we were going to win and we have won tournaments that I hoped that we would win. So I'm very proud of the way this season is going so far. For a team to be great, there needs to be great team chemistry, and both players and coaches on the girls' bowling team believe there's a profound sense of it. Our team chemistry throughout our practices and our meets are high. We have a wide range of different um, demographics in our program, and everybody gets along, and it's just so unique. It doesn't matter what background you have, everybody just kind of like takes you in. 
Even though the bowling team remains undefeated, there's still room for improvement. As a team, I think that we can improve on in our tournaments and our meets a little more consistency, a little more uh, our spare making. But other than that, I think we have um, done a much better job than we have in the past. But those are the two areas that I would hope that we could always improve on. But yeah, it's spares and our um, consistency. Good luck to the girls bowling team on the rest of their season. For Wildcat Weekly, along with Cameron Evans, I'm Abdul Jira. With the addition of Coach Mucha, the wrestling team is off to a strong start, but not many know about the pin chain. Ashley looks into what the pin chain is all about. The pin chain is a chain that encourages wrestlers to earn bonus points that can add to the team's overall score. The pin chain is a uh, necklace um, that the athletes get if they uh, earn a pin uh, in a dual meet match. Uh, in order to wear it, uh, you got to pin your opponent, uh, which means you got to hold them, uh, you know, on their back for two seconds, um, and that's kind of the ultimate victory in a wrestling match. The pin chain came about uh, from Ohio State Wrestling. Um, they kind of started doing it. They may or may not have got the idea from uh, Miami football, but we'll keep it uh, to Ohio State Wrestling, and uh, just kind of a little fun incentive uh, for the guys to kind of... Um, you know, want to get that victory. Uh, team's doing well. Started off uh, very hot. Um, I think we won 11 straight. Um, gotten into a tougher patch in our schedule, um, so we've had a couple bumps in the road, but, um, you know, competing hard, uh, learning a lot, and uh, gearing up for this uh, postseason run we're looking to make here. Be sure to come out and support the wrestling team this Friday at 6 p.m. in the main gym. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Ashley Perino. Some may be wondering why prom is on a Saturday this year. Maddie and Ansley take a look into why this change was made. As word has gotten out that prom has been moved from Friday to Saturday this year, there is much speculation as to why. About three years ago, uh, we were approached by the DuPage Valley Conference, which is the athletic conference that we're in, about moving our prom uh, for a number of reasons. Probably the most important was every other school in our conference and almost every other school in the county does have prom on a Saturday. So uh, that leads to some complications in the spring with all the sports, particularly for conference events that almost always occur on a Friday night. And with this new change comes some mixed feelings from students. I definitely think one drawback is um, one argument that's commonly presented is prom weekend with um, people saying it'll be pushed to a Monday now. So I know prom weekend with the Friday was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now people are saying it's going to be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I think that's one potential drawback that should be considered. Uh, I think that'll be sorted out a little bit later throughout the year. And then another one is obviously um, some discontent. I think immediate discontent is something we can't really deny on the immediate purposes. So I think people aren't really happy about the decision right now, but I think uh, over time it will be okay. Personally, it doesn't really affect me, but I know for a lot of people, they were really excited to have a prom weekend with all their friends, have Saturday and Sunday to spend with them, but now we only have Sunday and are expected to be back on Monday, and I think that's what disappoints people most. Even with this new change, prom will still be as amazing as ever. And for Wildcat Weekly, along with Maddie Sheely, I'm Ansley Carlson. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Stay warm, Wildcats. Wildcats.